We've been here now, this is, our, this is our, we're going into our second year, probably two and a half years I'd say now. Um, I grew up here, I went to this community centre actually when I was younger. If I was going to do something, I'd come back here. So the club would run from Monday, Monday and Thursday. It'd be half six, the kids and, and strength and conditioning to half seven. And then half seven and half eight for both the boxers on TV and our juniors and seniors that are serious about boxing. Started off with about three or four people, and then it just grew into about, say, maybe 50 or 60. You need somewhere to prepare them because two nights a week isn't enough. We see kids up here all the time that they, if they weren't prepared, they'd be running around the streets, you would know. So it is great to keep the kids on the street, including me own. We get a lot of kids up here, five, six, they walk in here, and they're wearing their blade head guards and gloves and whatever else on them. They're running around calling names out of pro boxers that they think they are, and yeah, it's great. So basically what's had to happen is in the last three or four weeks we've got a, a go ahead to put a, a shed on the back. It's going to be big enough to hold a boxing, boxing ring, a bag and a floor space for a kid. So basically what will happen is if the club can be open more than this. But instead of taking in 15 kids, 15 lads, we take in 24 to 30 kids. Then the next session will be 24 to 30 gallons. So. So basically what you're talking about is, 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 is it's about 20,000 for, for, the, for the building itself and for the, um, the ground that has to go into it. 20,000, I think it's doable. So we just got to put, put everything together and see what we can come up with. So that's it.